Today's Gospel, Sunday, August 22, 2021, is taken from the book of St. John, chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. Many of Jesus' disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Odi Romance from Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Here comes the hard part. Will you stay or will you walk away? Who, as I plunge into the gospel today, I might have been one of those who walked away and just made a tune out of the line. Uwi ana, ayawa na. It could have been a reasonable thing to do since Jesus seems to make cannibals out of those who were following him. Today's gospel may be a very sad day for Jesus and the twelve as they see many who walk with them depart. Seeing friends walk away is difficult, but that is what separates the weak from the strong, the focused from the confused. Though making a choice is one great gift of God, it is also the hardest to do many times in life. I am someone who do not believe in the situation. No choice. There is always a choice. We just have to think of the best choice and Peter made it for them who remained and decided to stick with Jesus. Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. The answer of Peter to Jesus is unnoticeable yet deeply dramatic. It is not where else, but to whom shall we go? Not a place, but a person. Kanina kami pupunta? Then follows a beautiful declaration of personal conviction. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. It is easy to choose that which will obviously give you a good life where you will get what you want and enjoy. It is easy to follow that which will lead you to an easy life and a path where you are in complete control. But following someone who has just introduced himself as something to be eaten and claims to come down from heaven where in fact you know his parents and where he lives seem to be an outright crazy thing to do. But that is our fate. This is our choice. This is our path. Our destination is not just a place, but a person. He is the way, the truth, and the life. This is something the world cannot understand and hates. This is why the sacraments we avail for eternal life needs our decision. There are questions we need to answer because God never forces himself on us. Because of love, we have a choice, and the best choice is to follow Jesus. The world will never run out of allurements to make us fall in love with it. But let us open our eyes to see how God continues to prove that He is the best choice. Let us pray. O Holy Spirit, enlighten me always in my decisions and draw me closer to the Father as I witness your great love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you. Does that
just what I am. I can never turn away from you and leave you all alone. Oh, I love you. Though you have gone your way, I could never leave you all alone and leave you way behind. Though you weigh no more than dust placed on the scale, you rise. Just as much as sand, I love you just the same. I am love. I am love. Though your sins be dark as scarlet, I will turn them white as snow.